When you dream about doing something for a long enough period of time, you kind of get to a, a state of mind where you just think that maybe it will never happen. Today's not that day. So you may remember I did a video a couple weeks ago, I did a, a goal board for the year and um, as a side note at the bottom, I didn't explain anything about it, I just wrote the word bus um, and I'll explain as we go and the reason I did that is because I thought that this was going to be a project that would take closer to a year um, but it's been about a month and a half since I wrote that and that goal is becoming a reality today. So we are buying this RV and we're... <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> so we're buying this RV and we're gonna sell all of our things and we're gonna live in it. We're gonna live on the road. We're just gonna, we're gonna pick up roots and we're gonna go. That's what we're gonna do, so it's a dream. This is my friend Ross here. Say hi, Ross. Hi, guys. Ross bought this bus intending. Wow. Let's go this way. Ross oh, bought this. Awesome. Ross bought this bus intending to do the same thing um, that we want to do, and so uh, the wife uh, makes the rules on that. <laughs> it was initially her idea a couple years ago when I chickened out, yeah. actually. Um, and then this year it was kind of like, oh, yep. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. Um, life changes. And uh, actually, it was really ironic that we were uh, in contact because that's exactly what you were gonna do. So yeah, yeah. It was kind of like it just it just fit. It worked. Well, out. I had the same story. Like Ashley, well, cut you out here. <laughs> uh, I had the same story. Like Ashley was like, "Dude, I really want to like live in a bus," and I was like, "You are insane." Yep, that was. And then like fun. it planted a seed in my brain though, and I was just like, the more I thought about it, the more I was like, "Yeah, I don't want to be tied down." Yeah. You know, and like this is like. The ultimate freedoms, like living in a bus, man. That's like ultimate freedom. You know what I mean? I wish you all luck, actually. Uh, dude. I, I, keep I appreciate you. you. We'll oh, stay yeah. in touch. Okay. I hope so. We'll Very stay much. in touch. Um, this is a dream come true for us. We've been planning. We have wanted to not just travel, but we have wanted to work towards a future um, where we had we would have more freedom and not be tied down. And like this is this is the beginning of the future for us. And it's because we never gave up. <laughs> Well, things were going really smooth. We were, you know, we had all the paperwork signed, ready to leave. We went to turn it around, the uh, RV, turn it around in the yard and it got stuck. So we're trying to dig it out. All right, so here we are. We have tried everything. So we got some sticks crammed in there. But the mud, was, you can't really see it in the dark, but the mud was, is up to the rim. So we've done just about everything that we can do to try to get this thing pulled out. We, uh, we hooked up the navigator here, wouldn't budge. We got the tractor out, tractor died. Uh, tried to pull the RV forward with the navigator and the tow strap broke. So we're waiting for some more help. You know, everything can't be perfect, <laughs> but overall it's a relatively, relatively good day. I'm not too upset about it because, you know, all in all, a good thing happened today. But, um, man. I'm wondering how we're gonna get this thing out. No idea, but um, you know. Uh, oh, we got somebody else on the way that has a bigger truck, so we're gonna try to go that route. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Can we just go home now? I'm with Fred on this one. All right, so it is 
nine o'clock and we're still stuck. Um, we had another truck come, uh, an F-350 actually, um, come and try to pull us out and he got stuck. So it's been about a half hour, 40 minutes since he got here. We just got him unstuck. Um, the problem with that was he was stuck and the chain was still attached to the RV. <laughs> so we got him unstuck and that chain unhooked and we just called the tow company. So hopefully they'll be here soon because we gotta go. We've been here since before six o'clock. So um, this day is dragging on. Oh, the tow truck finally showed up. Well, well, it's 10.42, tow truck finally showed up, the guy's a peach, he uh, literally had to spin the RV sideways and now there's a ditch in the guy's yard, in Ross's yard, so hopefully we'll be on the road soon. Like two inches on either side. 